Hello, YouTube and Pokemon Universe. I am Professor K. And I'm N. And we're here with the uh, Pokemon Evolutionaries. Now today, following suit from the last two videos, we had the uh, Greninja EX-10, followed by the Chestnut EX-10, and now today we will be featuring the Delphox EX-10. By far, I think, uh, the coolest looking of the three. I don't know why, but I just feel like that's what is the best card. And I think actually it would be the best card to use if you were ever to consider anything competitively. And you'll see what I mean about that here in a minute. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. As with the other four, we get one EX card and four packs. I like how Pokemon gave us all different packs with it though. That, uh, that is a refreshing touch. All right, so, take out this here. All right, so let's take a look at this Delphox EX-10 a little bit closer. Now, here we have the card. For one fire energy, it does Psybeam for 20 damage. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Not bad. Well, I don't like how the fact that it's just 20 damage, though. Confusion, to me, doesn't seem worth it for just 20 damage. And you can get out of confusion pretty easily. But, however, the second attack, Wonder Flare, for one fire and three colorless energy, does 80 damage. And then, your opponent reveals his or her hand. This attack does 40 more damage for each energy card in your opponent's hand. Now, that is by far the most useful attack out of the three. It definitely has the highest possibility of being useful. There's no doubt about that. And with Delphox EX, as with the other EXs being a basic Pokemon, you don't even have to evolve to take advantage of this. So, if your opponent has a handful of energy, you could seriously be doing a lot of damage, and knocking out anything. And since that's uh, Fire-type, combine that with an Embor, one turn power that up. Yes, you absolutely can. As long as uh, you power up that Embor, get it going, then all of a sudden, you're hitting for an unlimited amount of damage, depending on how much energy is in your opponent's hand. And in competitive play, you can bet that there's at least one or two energy cards in your opponent's hand at any time. And even if there's just two with a muscle band, you're knocking out every EX that's out there. Minus the Megas, of course. Okay. But no one plays Megas yet. Well, Mega Kangaskhan is finally seeing some play, but I don't know how long it'll hold up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the packs. In this one, it seems we have the same as the last three, as far as the sets go. From Flashfire, X and Y, Plasma Blast and Plasma Freeze. All right, in this video, I think I'm actually gonna go in reverse order, and we will start with the Flash Fire Pack, with the Pyroar artwork. Now, Pyroar, I think, is going to seriously take off once the format changes over after Worlds. I think that it's got a lot of potential. I currently have a deck myself that features Pyroar, which I will be profiling sometime in the future. Three, one, two. All right, so let's see what we've got in this flash fire pack. Starting off, we have Duskull, followed by Litleo, the uh, lesser of the two with 60 HP, Sandile, Bergmite, Stunky, Dusclops, an Ultra Ball, a Crocker Rock. A reverse Buizel, and the rare in the pack is a Skun Tank. Wah, wah, wah. It seems like Skun Tank has just been the uh, the troll of all trolls when it comes to this set. The most common rare that I've seen so far. I can't even tell you how many of these that I have. It's not even funny. It's a little funny to me, of course, to you. All right, so we'll move on to the X and Y pack. With Evil Tall. Open this one up. Be nice to have another EX pull out of these. That'd be nice. You better not get another EX. Just because you didn't pull one. Hey, I'll pull an A spec, alright? Life do. Yeah, it's a good A spec. It's still a tool. You're a tool. Oh, wow. Alright, so with this pack we're starting off with a Venipede. 
then a fairy energy, pan sage, Pikachu, grass energy. Really, we got two energies in the same pack. Ugh. All right, Herdier, Super Potion, Illumise. Get that back into focus. A Reverse Aegislash Rare. Ah, that's not bad. Always good when you get the uh, Reverse Rares. This is the one with Stance Change. Um, actually, I should say they both have Stance Change. This is more of the attacking version. Buster Swing does 120 damage, and the other version does King's Shield, and uh, you cannot be attacked next turn, so it's a useful card regardless. Okay, so our rare in the pack is Wigglytuff with Balloon Barrage and Double Edge. I much prefer the Hocus Pinkus Wigglytuff over this one, but what can you do? All right, we'll go on to the Plasma Blast. Now, this sure would be nice to uh, pull the uh, Genesect to go with the Verizian. That would be amazing. Irony, I pulled a, I used the Pialka pack and you opening the Dialga pack. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay. Alright, so we've got a Kangaskhan. A Snover. Machop. Bagon, back into focus, Larvesta, Chatot, Duosion, Porygon 2, a Reverse Ursa Ring, and for the rare, an Azelf. Ah, <sighs> Azelf. Still legendary. Yeah, but it was the most nerfed legendary in the game. Oh, well. All right. So we move on to our final pack of Plasma Freeze with Bisharp on the front. Our last opportunity to pull something good. But hey, at least the Delphox EX is actually decent, so... It slightly makes up for it. <laughs> All right, so we'll go one, two, three, one, two. All right, we got a Grimer, Rattata, Yamask, Starly. Oh, we lost our focus again. Cacnea, Espeon, Floatstone, Lampin. Our reverse is a Mankey, and for the rare, oh, I got another EX, a Heatran EX. I don't like you. Leave it to the professor to have the uh, EX pulls. <laughs> All right, so there's a nice little EX we've got there. Let's go ahead and uh, get that in a sleeve. There we go. All right, so let's give our little trio here, they're due. Set these up right here. And we will throw this Delphox EX also into a sleeve and stand it up in front of Fennekin. Alrighty. So there we go. That's it for the uh, three new tins that have come out. We hope you enjoyed your uh, experience with us, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure that, uh, oh, wait a minute, I gotta give you guys a code. Hold on a second. Let's not mess that up. Today, I'll give you a plasma freeze code. There you go, right there. As always, be sure to leave a comment letting us know, and the rest of the community, that you've taken it. Oh, get it back into focus, there we go. All right. So that's all we have for you today. Next time we'll have some uh, pack openings for you. And soon we will be starting doing some uh, live match recordings as well. And, uh... Wait, wait, hold on a second there, Professor. Why don't you explain a little bit more about the deck profiling that we'll be doing? Well, that'll come up a little bit later on. Um, just basically going to show you a different set list that I've used to build uh, some pretty decent decks. Same with my decks as well. Yes, you have one that's quite interesting in and of itself, so we'll be sure to show that as well. 
uh, with Worlds coming up and everything. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. So, until next time, I'm Professor K. And I'm N. And we'll be signing off for now, and join us next time. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends.